Hey, what's good, comic fans? This is Comfire Comics, and we've got a special announcement. We are doing a uh, subscriber appreciation care package. And so, Nate, won't you take it away and let them know the details on this care package that we're giving away? That's right. If you want to be involved in this, guys, all you have to do is be a subscriber. Either a new subscriber or old subscriber. It doesn't matter. Also, you need to leave us a comment on one of our videos for this month, and we're going to be giving you some really cool stuff. I've reached into my comic vault, and I am bringing out a nice little Uncanny X-Men signed by Jim Lee. This is Uncanny X-Men 248 signed by Jim Lee. Um, we also got some other goodies. Nice. Richie, what are you going to have for them? Um, I got a few things here. This um, this month, I think we're going to do this um, at least this month and next month and kind of see how it goes. Um and again, did you did you say for the whole month of November? That's right, for the whole month of November. For the whole month, no, the whole month of November, we're the old subscriber, new subscriber. Leave a comment on one of these videos. And this is more of a Star Wars theme care package for the most part. I mean, you got the X Men. We got a cool uh, Star Wars insulated cup. All right, that's one. We've got a Master Yoda uh, cozy. Koozie, what are those things are? Bear hugger, I don't know what you would call it. We got an R2D2 keychain. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Um, a Star Wars calendar, right? Some you see some of the cool images I get up in on that. All right, got that going. Uh oh, uh, or, uh, posters, those nail spot here. Let's uh, join the dark side again, mainly Star Wars themed. We got uh, this is a cool little bag here, right. Nothing fancy. We're not doing nothing fancy. We ain't big time people. We regular folks. All right. We ain't rich. But we, we do appreciate the comments and stuff that we get on our videos and the subs that we do have. And we try to throw a little appreciation. And also, uh, Rick Grimes, Funko, right? That's tight. I almost wanted to keep this for myself, but I'm not. I'm going to give it back to you guys. But anyway, that's what we got. Again, uh, comment on one of our videos and you have to be a subscriber and you will be entered into a drawing at the end of this month. We'll draw from random and. We'll pick one and then we'll get in contact with that person and we'll ship the stuff to you. Have a good day. We out. Hey, what's good comic fans? This is Comfire Comics and we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 5. I'm Comfire Rich. And I'm Comfire Nate and... No, you're not losing your mind like Deanna. Yes, we just finished watching this episode and we're about to review it. Richie, what would you think? Um, I liked it. I thought it was a. I thought it was a good episode. It, it's kind of. Um, we got away from Morgan. We're back at the town, and now we're kind of focusing on the aftermath of uh, the wolves attacking everybody. And again, from last episode, we heard. We heard. We realized it was Rick coming at the gate, and this is where this one picks up at. Rick comes. He he brought in half of the zombies from the zombie parade. Um, I thought they might show him get away out of the the motorhome or whatever, but it didn't. It just had him running down the street. Yeah, I don't know how just, far away he was, how far he was that. running. Yeah, they just skipped that all together. They said, "Yeah, he's Rick. He's been out of worse situations, so we're right. going to skip that part." So we we got that. Um, it was it was cool. So zombie uh, Rick brings half the zombies. You know the town's panicking. They freaking out. And Rick cools a cucumber, gives the pep talk to the town, lets them know what's up. I mean, Nate, let's be real. Like, this isn't, like, new for Rick or his team, right? I mean, they were at the prison surrounded by zombies. Not this many, but still. We know this team has been out there. It's not a shock that he was cool like that. You know what I'm saying? Just well, another I mean, day. He's... Another day in the apocalypse. Up to this point, every single episode, besides one about Morgan, showed the Alexandrians getting murdered because they're bunch, they're, they're just not ready. You mm -hmm. know, so Rick comes in and he's just like, "Okay, guys, this is what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna let you know." You know, and they're all sitting there crapping themselves because they just got attacked by wolves. You know, they're not ready for this, man. And it just no. proves it again and again. And the person who's the leader of them is sitting around, walking around, looking like a zombie. You know, because she's just completely gone. She's I mean, cracking. Mind, yeah. She is cracking. I mean, I'm just waiting for that sequence where she puts a gun to her head and shoots herself, just like old Nicholas did the other week. So, I mean, she is, <laughs> she's literally zoning out constantly. So, yeah. it, it, was, it, was, it was weird. It was well, interesting, it, though, to see what some of these people are thinking, though. Yes. I mean, they literally 
I mean, you have a scene where they're raiding the food. You know, they're giving up. I mean, this is these are the people that write. You know, they're freaking out. They're giving up. They're going after the food. I mean, one of the people, instead of dealing with it, they just they just cut their wrist. I mean, these people are not designed to live in this world. It's been said from the very beginning of the season, nope. and they just proved it again in this episode. They, um, yeah, again, you're getting it. You like you said that the chick cut her wrist. The the people like they're looting food, and it's not like they're looting from a store. Like right when the apocalypse begins, like this is their supply for their town that's spread out for everybody. And they're just like, dude, I don't care. I'm not going to spend my last days with my family starving. You know, everybody thinks this is the end. We can't handle this. They're um, giving up. Yeah, complete. Most of them. Most of them are. There are, you know, signs for some of the people like um, uh, Jesse. you know, she's she gives her own pep talk. Um, around this time, and you know, she's kind of tightening up her boys. Well, what did you think about that altercation between her son and Carl? Like, there was this weird, right? Like, they had that one scene at the very beginning where he went for his knife and he was showing Carl, like, I'm gonna try to stab you. And I was like, Yeah, you can try to stab him if you want to, that's probably not gonna work out well for you. But then they get into a little slap fight, Something's pushing right each other. Like, I just I don't know what his deal is. Like, I, I get the vibe, like, you know. You know, at one moment he's like he's pissed at Rick, he's mad at Carl, then he's mad at Carl, and then he's like, I want to save you, Carl. Then he goes and tells Rick, then he's like, Hey, why don't you show me how to shoot a gun, dude? I think this kid is messed up. Something's wrong with him. I'm just saying it right now. Something's gonna something. He's gonna do something stupid. I just had that I, feeling. It was just weird. It was just the 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 go back and forth between him was just kind of weird for me. But I went a big part of the what you would call it. And speaking of the people, um. I, I don't know why I thought of this, but it, it was right when that chick had cut herself, right? And they, uh, Jesse stabbed her in the head. She gives her pep talk. These people all stand around just looking solemn, giving up. The doctor, you know, she's freaking out. I was thought back at the time when they first got into this town and they had that party. And I, was, I started laughing to myself. I was like, they ain't throwing no parties now. Talking about yeah. pasta makers. You know, you saw how Rick's group was so angry, like... You people are delusional. You like you have no clue, right? They got a clue now, mm -hmm. and they don't like it. And the last thing on their mind is throwing a, a shindig at somebody's house, celebrating. You know, they've had their eyes. Uh, That's right. I mean, co open. cocktail parties are not happening anytime soon. Not unless your cocktail party is going to be over. <laughs> Them like, zombies having a cocktail party on your butt, laying on the ground, because that's the only parties that are going to be happening. Um, and I, and they get it. I mean, they get it, and and they choose to either give up, run and hide, and a few of them, you know, like Aaron stands up and basically says, "Hey, it was my fault." They all just stood around looking. Deanna wanders off like a zombie. I mean. At this point, as far as I'm concerned, Jesse and Aaron are the only two actual... I mean, Spencer kind of has his moments, you know, mm -hmm. where he's like, don't do this, guys. And he's like, yeah, I did it, though. You know, he gets drunk, and he's, like, stealing the food and stuff. He's trying to be strong. and to, He's trying to show that he's strong, but inside, he's falling apart. And, I mean, but he had that moment. I mean, he just straight up told his mom, this is your fault. I mean, yeah, he was cold. He, broke. He, he, he flipped out on his mom, and he was cold as he could be. And his mom, I mean, again, maybe that's what she needed here. Because, again, she's wandering around all like that. And then when that dude comes out and attacks her, you know, she flips out and starts attacking him. Now, it's kind of funny when she's fighting this dude. She's stabbing him in the chest. Again, I know. The point. they don't know what they're doing. I mean, she's going to town on this dude's chest. I mean, dude's just sitting there still grabbing her. Rick comes up, puts a knife in his head. I mean, I think that was, that was her fight with all she had. But it yeah. still wasn't up because she wasn't even making it in the right spot. Do you think that um, she's finally going to snap out of it? Because they had that small glimpse where she pulled out the plans and she starts writing. She's trying to, I don't know what she's trying to do, like rebuild a town or like she had just a plan to fix things or what. But I like to see that, right? Like Rick had that conversation with her and she's like, look, we need, they need you to lead this. Do you think she's going to snap out of it and kind of pick up the mantle again of helping to lead these people in conjunction with Rick and going on? Because I'd like to see her come back because she's a strong, she could be a strong character, right? The, old, the older, you know, we've talked about it before where you had Herschel and then you had, um, you remember the old dude who had the, that was uh, friends with Andrea way back in the early seasons? Oh, uh, damn. Like you always have that one older person who's kind of wise. I don't know if that's Morgan that's going to pick that up. 
or could be Deanna, right? Where Rick kind of goes to them and, you know, they collaborate back and forth to help make decisions for the group. I don't know. What do you think think about that? I think they want you to believe that it's possible. Like you're kind of trying to watch to see this kind of transformation. Personally, I think she's zombie food. I think it's going to happen sooner (laughs) than later. Um, I think she's just, I don't think any, I I think the the characters we like right now are might be the only characters that actually make it out. If they make it out of this whole situation. Right. Uh, As far as Alex, I mean, they, you know, she's falling apart. She, at the end, you know, she's like, yeah, banging up on there like, yeah, I want to live. Dude, you know what? It's too late. You're already dead. You just don't know it yet. Well, this will wait and see. You said something about Aaron, and let's talk about Aaron and Maggie for a second because there was another big focus on them, obviously. She realized Glenn's not sending out no smoke signal. He's not sending a signal at all, so she's like, I got to go get my man, right? And I'm thinking, she if she wants to get out of here, she's going to get out and she's going to go, and I honestly thought she was legit gone. Like, I thought, I was like, all right, Maggie is getting out of this town. She's going to go find him. Um, turns out that didn't happen. Um, Aaron, well, Aaron didn't stop her per se. She stopped herself. Do you think she stopped herself because not that she's giving up hope. We know she's not giving up hope, but well, I thought it was because she didn't want to open up that gate at the end of the sewer because we can't open this gate. They're just going to leave it open for more zombies to come in or maybe she realized think- it wasn't worth it or what? I think she got to that point. She realized she was going to do everything she could. And then when she got to that moment, she realized, if I go any further, I'm going to die. And, and I can't turn, die. And then in turn, possibly harm the big shocker of the night, the fact that she's pregnant, her unborn yeah. child. So, I mean, she basically tells that to Aaron in that moment. And I think that's probably what triggered in her head at that moment. She's like, yeah. you know what? I'm pregnant. I can't yeah. do this. I think you're you right. Know, I have to have faith in Glenn. That he'll make it back, and that that was the moment. That's that's pretty much what happened to her. And then she told Aaron, and then, you know, she she went up there. She felt like you you know, I'm gonna have faith in him, and basically went down and marked you know was wiping his name off the board. So yep. I think, I mean, the other thing that pops in my head is that oh crap, we've seen this before. What happens when someone gets pregnant in the apocalypse? Red flags all over the place, going back yep. a few seasons. You know, we know that this is not the best place to have a baby. So let's hope it turns out better. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with that. And you know, that was a it was a big shock. For some reason it wasn't a big shock. Like when she said it, I'm pregnant. I don't know why when she said it, it wasn't like a oh my goodness moment for me. I don't know if I felt like I knew that already or I was it expecting like it. it. Yeah, I don't know. It I don't know. It's like it's it big. Bomb. It's a big bomb drop for sure, right? Like that might be the piece of Glenn that they were talking about. But I find it interesting that the town and Rick and Maggie and all these people are in the same boat as the audience. Some people probably think Glenn's long gone. He's dead. Other people are like, "Dude, he's coming back." Right? It's Glenn. At the the characters in the audience are for once in sync. We don't know what's going on and neither do they. And I find it very interesting. I think that's a, a interesting point to make that we don't know if he's dead. We actually kind of expect him to come back up or to come back or they find him. Um, I just think that's, I think that's kind of cool. That, yeah, no, they, they do we both feel like they're, that they're doing, they're playing this troll to the max. That's for sure. I mean, they even got the characters on the show acting like they're not sure. But, of course, they go through the effort this episode to even mention Glenn a couple times just to remind you, oh, yeah, that's right. We you mm-hmm. know, we saw Glenn die, or did we, again? Right. I, Do you think they're going to show it before the end of this um, halfway point of the I season? To, if I had to guess, I'm going to say we're going to find out something in episode seven of this season. That's my guess. Episode seven. So this is five. Seven, so seven. not the next episode, but the one after that, you think we're going to get some insight. I think we're going to find some insight in that episode. Definitely, I would imagine, before the end of this, uh, the the first part of the season. Um, but you know what? They might not. They might they might drag it out all up into next season. But I'm, I'm thinking seven. I'm thinking seven, eight at the latest. I'm pretty sure we're going to find out something in seven. That's what all right, we got to You think. say seven, and we're going eight, right? Like eight is the last one, and then we get a break. Is that correct? Right. Then we have to okay. break all the way until probably january february before we know what's going on and i don't think here's I'm my guess they won't do it to us i'm just saying i don't think so you think seven i think eight and i don't think it's going to be a hundred percent clear i think 
they might leave us either one or two things. Let's say he's, if he's dead, if he's dead, I don't know. It might be episode seven where they finally realize like he's out of here and we just kind of move on from that or at least try to move on from it. But if he, if he's alive and they're going to keep him alive, I think we find out in eight and I think we find out at the end of eight. And it's like, like maybe they show him, you know, like maybe it's a flash. Like they don't, maybe he doesn't even have a talking scene or something, but he's on the screen for like 30 seconds or a minute. And it's like, Glenn's alive. And then boom, it ends. And it's just like, what the F? Now we got to wait for this whole break to get back. Yeah, you know what might, I'm saying? We might not find out the full story until the next half of the year, but I think we're going to get some type of definitive alive or dead confirmation in seven or eight. I'm thinking seven. You say you think it's seven? Like I'm going eight and the end of eight at that. And tell me what y'all think about that. Um, oh, the crack in the wall. Was that a crack or blood? Because it was moving too fast to be blood. a crack. I, I think, think it was blood, blood. too. I was think, it significant, or they were just showing blood for to be showing blood? I think what we have to take from that is that the zombies are pushing up on the wall. The ones in the front are getting crushed. I think it's just showing that, hey, there are cracks in the wall. The blood's getting through. Those walls are coming down. When are they coming down? Probably seven or eight, just like we find out what's going on with Glenn. <laughs> okay. Um, that's all we got. Um, look, guys, that's all we got for this episode um, or video, whatever you want to call this. So like, comment, subscribe. Again, don't forget about our um, um, our appreciation giveaway that we're doing for our subscribers. Um, get in that. Comment down on this video. Let us know what you think. Again, Glenn alive, Glenn dead. Are we going to find out? I want to know. Are we going to find out about Glenn in episode seven or episode eight? Give us your thoughts. Until next time, we're out. See ya.